Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown attackers in real world scenarios oh, stop right here. Stop and right fight here. their way out. Get down the ground! You're about to set my daughter on fire. There's no way I was going to let that happen. Get away from her! Get away from her now! You got me in the shoulder, right through center mass of what I was giving you. This force-on-force -force training uses simunitions, a non-lethal alternative to live ammunition, backed up with live fire training on the range. From home invasions... Hey, get out of my house! To ...active killers and multiple hey, attackers. Speed kills. Sometimes it's fast speed, sometimes it's slow speed. Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight out of real life. Get in the damn car! This could happen to anyone. This is First Person Defender. Lisa Neal may not be your typical great grandmother. Today on First Person Defender, she'll face a scenario that mimics her life. A simple stop for gas with the grandchildren in her car. When faced with a threat, Will she have what it takes to turn from a loving grandma into a mama grizzly? I'm Lisa Neal, and I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I work at Precision Firearms in Baton Rouge. It's an indoor shooting range, and we have some firearms for sale. Uh, a lot of the guys that would come in to shoot would see that 1911 on my hip, and they'd make comments about it. A lot of the ladies looked at it and said, hmm, you're really shooting something that big, huh? I began shooting about uh, two years ago, September, I conceal carry on a daily basis. I will always have a gun with me, either on me or in my purse, in my vehicle, wherever I can keep them where they're safe and I can get to for use defensively. I've had a few training sessions with individuals through my two years. Started out first with a Babes with Bullets camp and it gave me a good advantage going into USPSA competition. My husband is a directional driller. He works in the oil field. He's usually out on the deep water drilling rigs. So we have five children all together, have seven grandchildren with two more on the way, and we have one great grandchild. So I do travel with one, two, sometimes three or more grandkids at a time. So protecting them and being aware is something that concerns me greatly. My first impressions of Lisa are I have high expectations. Uh, she's got some considerable experience. Uh, she's got some considerable motivation. As far as challenging Lisa, that's going to be our challenge. We're starting in and out of a vehicle. There's some d deep complications with the confined space inside a vehicle. And a lot of folks just don't get that. They don't understand it. They think it's just like standing flat-footed on a square range. And I want to see how she performs in those, those aspects. And then I want to see how she handles the situation with the idea that her grandchildren are in the vehicle. And that's going to throw a completely different mix into this. The scenario you're going to be working on today is just that. You're going to be in your vehicle, or a vehicle, and uh, you're going to be pulling up in a, a gas pump, and you're going to deal with a set of circumstances they presented to you there at the gas pump. Um, you know, not a, an uncommon set of circumstances. Um, but you also mentioned in your, in your interview, though, that you, uh, you are occasionally the, uh, the, it's grandma's taxi, right? You've got your grandkids in the back seat. And you were saying somewhere between three or more at times? Yes. Okay. Well, in today's scenario, uh, you're going to have your grandkids in the vehicle. Okay. You're going to have Sophia and Braden sitting in the back seat. And I want you to think about Sophia and Braden being in the back seat. And essentially, all you're going to do is simply pull up to buy gas. You're going to get out to pump gas. And you're going to manage a set of circumstances that we're going to throw at you. In the scenario, we put our grandchildren in the backseat of the vehicle uh, to change the game. So it turned it from simply a property-related event to the lives of human beings. The production crew in yellow shirts are invisible. All others are in play. The cardboard boxes stand in for gas pumps. I'm telling you, man. No, you're full of it, dude. No, it ain't gonna happen that way. Uh-huh. You got any change? Get back.
and the training to back it up. A laser gives you the ultimate advantage. This is Condition Crimson, and in Condition Crimson, we stand. Learn more at ConditionCrimson.com. The Ruger LC380 is the perfect pairing of the award-winning LC9 pistol and the popular 380 auto cartridge. It features a dovetailed high-visibility three-dot sight system, seven-round magazine, and finger grip extension floor plate. The Ruger LC380, another rugged, reliable firearm from Ruger. For more than 100 years, the Model 1911 has been by our side through it all. And proudly, it's once again a Remington. America's favorite pistol design by America's most trusted gun maker. First Person Defender is brought to you by Nosler, Smith & Wesson, Crossbreed, and Trigicon. Lisa pulls up to, to the gas pump and gets out to, to pump gas. Within seconds, uh, one of the role players uh, came out and was uh, having a very loud discussion on his cell phone with uh, somebody. And in the middle of that, our primary role player presented himself and immediately made contact with Lisa. Uh -huh. You have any change? Get back. Get back. I can't hear you. You have any Get change? Back. Get back. You got any change? Get back. Tell you what. Get back. Give me your car keys. Get back. Give me your car keys now. Get back. Give me your car keys. Get back. Oh! Get back. Give me your car keys. Get back. Move back. Move back. Give me your car keys. Move back. Give me the keys. You're not going to use that gun. Move back. You're not going to do anything. Move back. You're not going to. Oh! She just shot something! All right, index, index. So tell us, tell us what happened. Okay, take, get, get, catch your breath, catch yeah, your breath. Yeah, it, it's a little, it's a little unnerving mm -hmm. when it actually starts to happen. Never having been approached in a situation where I knew that there was somebody in the vehicle that you know that I'd want to protect mm -hmm. no matter what. Immediately, your blood starts running and your your head starts beating and you know. He was coming towards me here, one of the guys on the phone. Uh, I didn't want to get distracted too much by one person, kept looking around, saw him coming around. I want to keep distance between me and somebody who may be approaching that might not have good intentions. When, when she was moving around the vehicle and, and some of her movement, and I don't want to say necessarily wobbly or unbalanced, but a, a little unsure, I've seen more than one time, I've seen guys go to the ground because their movement just wasn't wasn't dedicated, it wasn't purposeful movement. They, they didn't maintain the same posture or the same shooting stance, they lost their balance somehow. But what I want to see you do is, I want to see you get in that shooting position and maintain that shooting position when we're moving laterally so that when you're trying to either evade the bad guy or you're trying to gain a position of advantage on the bad guy, your shooting stance remains the same from where you started to where you end. And it also has your body ramped up so that when, if, if it goes from guns, say he gets the better of you and it goes into a physical altercation, that you're able to actually take that force against force and not be taken down to the ground. Put your feet shoulder width apart and make sure that your hips, knees, and shoulders are all squared towards your area of threat. Okay, and then are you, you're right-handed. Yes. Okay, so then I want you to take your right foot and take it about a half a step to the rear and just open that stance up a little bit and just relax. You put a little tiny bend inside your knees so you've got a little bit of shock absorption. It's gonna cut down on the body cavitation as far as the, the, the movement and everything. And then here from this position, just a little bit of body weight forward. So you're not, not like you're you know, carrying a pail of water, but just, just enough that the shoulders are forward and, as opposed to the shoulders being back. And that's essentially your stance. And if he's gone to guns and he's chosen that course of action to actually put rounds on you, all you really have to do is take about a step one way or a step the other way just to get out of that immediate line of sight. Does that make sense? When we do that, we want to take that step, we want to open ourselves up, and we want to make sure we don't do things like cross our feet, okay, or bring our feet together. We don't want to put ourselves in a position working around that vehicle at those gas pumps on that uneven terrain, but we might be putting ourselves in a position of disadvantage or we're off balance, okay? So we're gonna move right, we're gonna step out and step up. We keep that same stance. We're left, step out, step up. Everything's exactly the same. We're keeping ourselves square every single time. And if we have to turn, we just turn and keep ourselves square the entire time so that our hips, knees, and shoulders are always square towards that area of threat. 
So what I want you to do is face my target, or face your target rather, hips, knees, shoulders, square towards your area of threat, just relax, and I want you to take one step to the right, step out and step up, and you wanna end in exactly the same stance you're in, okay? You wanna move, and you wanna move aggressively, you wanna move dynamically, right? So from where you're at right now, I'm gonna have you take one step to the left, so go ahead and step out and step up, one more to the right, step out and step up, exactly. Not, not real complicated, but it's one of those simple things that's, that goes with the fundamentals, and it, it's one of those things that if we don't practice it, then we start tripping over ourselves and we put ourselves in a position of disadvantage, okay? Now, on top of this, the question comes in whether it's better to draw and engage and then get out of the way, or move and, and then engage, which is gonna be kind of specific to the situation we're in. But what I'm gonna want you to do is, as you're in motion, I want you accessing that weapon, so that when you actually do come to that, that final resting position, you're at presentation and the weapon is out on target. So we're able to put rounds on the target after you've gotten off the X. Go ahead and draw and come to ready. Okay, go ahead and load and make ready. Okay, now go ahead and recover to the holster. And what I want you to do, on my command, I want you to take one step to the right, step out, step up, and as you're in motion, I want you accessing that weapon so that when you finally come to rest, you put two rounds center mass of that target. All right? All right. Shooter ready? Go. Scan, and then recover to the holster. All right, very good. All right, from where we're at right now, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna have you take one step to the left. All right? All right. Shooter ready? Go. Scan and then recover. Out there, in those scenarios, same thing, moving around that vehicle, keeping yourself square around that vehicle, that's kind of dynamic and aggressive movement I want to see, okay? okay? All right, let's make it happen. All right. All right. Nozzler Defense Ammunition is loaded up front with the bonded performance line of bonded core defense bullets. Professionals trust their next move to Nozzler Defense. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. With a bond between hand and gun feels as true as a perfectly placed shot. It's not by accident, it's by design. MP advanced by design. First Person Defender is brought to you by Crimson Trace, Simunition, Remington, and Ruger. Some people come in and just need a little fine tuning. Lisa came prepared and is ready for additional force on force training. My takeaway on this whole scenario, going through it, training with Wes, was that I need to be more aggressive, that I need to take action with a purpose. I need to make sure I assess the situation properly and don't hesitate. Take reasonable caution but when it's time to act, it's time to act. All in all, as far as overall performance, after we debriefed and kind of got what uh, her thought was and her thought process, and she gave us a, a detailed layout of how she was thinking literally through the entire event, I have very little to criticize. Uh, I thought she did fantastic. Uh, I was very impressed with her performance. I would love to take more classes with Wes. That would be, an, I, I can only imagine in a full day scenario with him one-on-one -on -one how much you could learn. You hear about the, the mama bears, uh, and, and there's a couple of other uh, you know, little, little descriptors that are used in these, these areas. Um, this is definitely uh, somebody that falls into that category. This is, without a doubt, this is one grandmother that uh, you don't want to mess with.